Welcome to our lecture online. Now here we have an interesting little problem. It seems simple enough. We're asked to find the friction force. We're pulling on the block at an angle theta with a force F. There's a coefficient of friction mu and the block slides across the floor at a constant velocity. We're given five answers. One of those must be the correct answer. So if we're going to solve a problem like this, we probably want to do the following. We want to say, well, we have the force of gravity pulling down, which is mg. We have the uh, force pushing back up, the normal force. But notice, before we can figure out what the normal force is equal to, we're going to go ahead here and find the components of the force. So we have the force this way, which is uh, a little bit too long. This would be f times the cosine of theta. And this component right here, which would be f times the sine of theta, and then you'd say, well, the normal force would be equal to the weight of the block minus the force pulling up on the block, so it means the normal force would be equal to mg uh, minus f sine theta, like this, and then you say that the friction force, force friction by definition, and I'll change color here, that would be equal to the normal force times mu, and so that would be equal to mg minus the force F times the sine of theta times mu. And so you'd say, well, that should be the answer. That's the friction force. And sure enough, you know, that would be okay. You come over here and you find that none of the answers give you that. Hmm, and you wonder, well, I don't think I did anything wrong. Why is that not the case? But the clue here is that the velocity is constant. If the velocity is constant, that means that the acceleration must be equal to zero which means that F net in the x direction must equal zero. That means the force to the right must equal the force to the left, which means that if I call the right a positive force, that would be F times the cosine of theta minus the force to the left, which would be the friction force. And therefore I can say that the friction force is therefore equal to the force times the cosine of theta. And now when I look up here, I go, yes indeed, that's the correct answer would be A in this case. Hmm, so what's the difference? Well, it turns out that this would give you the maximum friction force. This gives you the actual friction force if F cosine theta is less than mg minus F sine theta times mu. So this will always be the case. This is what we call the maximum friction force if the total normal force, which is the maximum g minus f sine theta, that maximum times mu will give you the maximum friction force, but not the actual friction force, it could be far less. And so therefore, be careful of the difference. You always know that because of Newton's third law, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. The greater f cosine theta, the greater the friction force. And you know that they're going to be proportional to simply in the opposite direction of one another. And that is how it's done.